Welcome to Tom Socks Weekly presented by Zoom Indoor Cycling. I'm Doria Martingale and I'm your host today. On this week's episode, we catch up with one of our top relief pitchers and we also talk with head coach Corey Hunt. But first, let's take a look at our top plays from this week. Welcome back to the show. Sidearm is a common way of throwing from the infield, but it takes a special kind of pitcher to master the underhand motion from the mound. On the Tom Sox roster, we have quite a few sidearm pitchers, including Coastal Carolina's Alaska Abney. Our own Tyler Fannin is on a mission to master this kind of pitch from the mound, so he caught up with Alaska Abney for a few pointers. Sheesh, it just wasn't right, man. Maybe I should go talk to Tom Sox pitcher Alaska Abney about the sidearm technique. So Alaska, you switched from overhand to sidearm. What made you make that decision? Um, it was kind of just when I got through sidearm. Um, there's a lot more run on the ball, a little bit more sink, gets a lot of ground balls. Um, I'd usually come in in college, like kind of double play situations to get double plays like ground ball. Um, I would also come in kind of like jam situation, maybe like bases loaded going out, maybe get the ground ball, get a double play and get out of the Alright. Now, uh, in your opinion, what are the biggest differences between the two? Um, I would just say, I mean, coming from down here, a lot of, uh, a lot of kind of sidearm guys are usually relievers, mainly to just come in on jams and stuff like that and get, uh, get a lot of ground balls, get out of like some sticky situations basically. All right, now, uh, can you take us step by step how you uh, deal with it on the mound and how you go for the uh, sidearm pitch? Um, so basically, it's a little bit different. Um, I used to, like whenever I was overhand, I used to stand more straight up. And now I'm kind of more, more a little bent over so that I can get kind of down into <laughs> All right, now it's my turn. 
Yeah, I'll ask you. You said you, you don't stand straight up, right? Yeah. You kind of have a little bit more bent well. over. Yeah. And you want to kind of loose arm? Yeah. Maybe? Yeah. Basically. All right. So, let's see if I get this. I think that'd be a strike. I don't, I don't know about you. I I'm, think so too. That was right down the plate. Work out. All right. <laughs> nice. Now I know how to throw a strike thanks to Alaska Abney. I'm Tyler Fan, and this is Tom Talks Weekly. Thank you, Tyler. This week marked the halfway point of the regular season, and the Tom Sox are currently battling at the top of the loaded South Division. With a lot of baseball left to play, there have already been a lot of big storylines for our team this season. Our own Nick Grossman caught up with head Tom Sox coach Corey Hunt to talk about his thoughts so far on this summer. What are your general thoughts about the season so far? Um, you know, I'm pretty excited uh, where, we've, where we've come. Uh, we've got some things that we need to work on, but in terms of the guys getting in and gelling and, and getting their opportunities, they're taking advantage of the chances that they're getting. Um, so at this point, I'm pretty excited about uh, uh, the, the direction we're heading. Um, we're starting to understand each other um, and pick each other up and start to become a family. What do you think have been some of the bright spots? Um, I think the, the best thing that we've been able to do is pick each other up at this point. Um, some nights you're not going to have your best night, but another guy's been able to step up and pick his teammate up. I think those are the things that are going to need to continue for us to have success going down the road, whether it's a pitcher or a position guy, uh, some guy coming off the bench. Um, you know, they've, they've embraced those opportunities at this point, and so I think they're, you know, they're embracing their chances to come through for their, for their teammates. Is there anything you wish you could change about this season? Um, we, we could hope that it stays 75 and, and a nice breeze every night, but everybody knows, you know, you got to play the weather as it is. So some nights you get some off nights and you need to be ready to go the next day. And so uh, I think that's the only thing that I would change is if I could do it, uh, every night would be real nice and we'd get to play ball. What makes this team different than the past two Tom Sox teams that you've coached? Yeah, every team is different. You've got different personalities. You've got different guys from different places of the, of the entire country. Um, I think that's what makes this team a little bit different than others is I think we have we are a little bit more diverse than we have been in the last two years in terms of characters uh, guys coming from different places and different accents and different things uh, that they're accustomed to and I think it's uh, a great opportunity for everybody to uh, meet those guys and be teammates with them. This team looks like they have a lot of fun when they're together at the ballpark is that the type of environment you've tried to create and foster? Um, I think they've created it. They know my expectations when they get to the field. They need to hustle, they need to work hard, they need to do all those things that their coaches expect them to do at school. Um, off the field, we expect them to make good decisions and, and put their teammates before themselves, and they've, they've really embraced um, that concept, and they've, they've been able to enjoy um, meeting each other and, and working together. What are your goals for the team for the rest of the season? Um, you know, I expect these guys to come out and work hard every day. Um, our goal is every year is to win a championship, whether that's the first half, whether that's the regular season, whether that's the Southern Division or Valley League Championship. So we always want to put ourselves in a position to win a championship. So um, that's, that's all our ultimate goal. For Corey Hunt, his third season in charge of the Tom Sox brings him diversity, fun, and hard work. But the goal still remains the same, winning a Valley League Championship. For Tom Sox Weekly, I'm Nick Grossman. Coming up on Tom Sox Weekly, we've got a special edition of the Hot Seat. Plus, what exactly happens on a Tom Sox road trip? But first, let's take a moment to recognize our great sponsor, Zoom Indoor Cycling. Tom Sox Weekly is presented by Zoom Indoor Cycling. Located at 1929 Arlington Boulevard here in Charlottesville, Zoom is the premier spin cycle destination in Central Virginia. Your first class is free and you can sign up online at zoomseville.com. Zoom Indoor Cycling. Flip in, rock out, right on. Welcome back to the show. Due to my hosting responsibilities, I was unable to ask any of the Tom Sox players the tough questions this week, but our own Maddie McNamee stepped up to the plate to keep our favorite segment alive. This week, Maddie sat down with Worcester's Dan Harwood for this week's edition of The Hot Seat. Hi, I'm Maddie McNamee, and you're watching The Hot Seat, where we ask players on the Tom Sox burning questions. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Who is your celebrity crush? Celebrity crush? Don't really have a female celebrity crush, I don't think. Um, the only one I can think of off the top of my head for that relates to baseball is Justin Verlander's uh, wife, Kate Upton. So I guess that's, that's about my crush, like I guess, <laughs> if you want to put it that way. What would you choose as the theme song to your life? Theme song to my life? Hmm. Um, I'm a big... 
rock guy. So I think I'm gonna try to go with a rock song. Um, now, you know what? I'm gonna roll with September, Earth, Wind, and Fire, I guess. Which Harry Potter house do you identify with? Gryffindor, I guess. Big Harry Potter guy. Who on the Tom Sox would you call to bail you out of jail? To bail me out of jail? There's a lot of guys, obviously. Um, I'll go with uh, my boy Walker, I guess. Walker and Wally. Why is that? Um, honestly, I think it would just be funny him rolling up to bail me out of jail. I, I think it'd be a funny time just seeing him walk in like, hey, I bailed you out, guy. Let's go. Like, all right. What is your guilty pleasure? I feel like I'm not that weird of a guy. Um, very OCD, so I like just having everything neat, I guess. If that's like a guilty pleasure, I like everything like in line, really OCD. What is your team nickname and why? My nickname on the team is Dean. And why is that? The nickname came about from Walker. Uh, he had a buddy on his team. They went to another field, the locker with that guy's name on it, which was Dan was spelled Dean. So they misspelled his name and he's like, all right, I'm gonna call you Dean now because you're our old Dan or whatever. I'm like, all right, and it just stuck, so. What is your favorite food? Favorite food, I think I would have to go chicken parmesan. What is your favorite sports team? Favorite sports team is the Cleveland Browns. Who is Seymour on the team? What is that? Who is Seymour? Seymour is Ramon. And Seymour, uh, Ramon is Seymour because there's a video of a guy making a sandwich that plays both roles and me and him just kind of have a running joke with just calling each other Seymour and making each other sandwiches. So. What is your favorite pickup line? Don't really have a pickup line, I don't think. I mean, I'm very talkative, so I guess I'll just say, <laughs> I guess I'll just go up and say hi and then I guess carry it on from there. I really don't start with anything, I guess, if you put it that way. I don't really have a pickup line. Thanks for watching The Hot Seat. If you have any questions you'd like to see us ask any players, leave them in the comments below or send us a message on Twitter at Seville Tom Sox VBL. Thanks for keeping the seat warm, Maddie. You can always follow the Tom Sox Road Games on our social channels, but have you ever wanted to know what it's like to truly be part of the experience? Well, luckily this week there's enough room for everyone and we couldn't think of a better all access guide than our own Crawford Humphreys. I'm Crawford Humphreys with Tom Sox Weekly. you probably cheered on the Tom Sox here at Sifa Weekly Ballpark, but have you ever wondered what it's like to be on a road trip with the team? Come on. Let's go. New market. We're here at Rebel Park in New Market for today's game. The guys just finished up their pre-game stretches with Coach Jim Darren, and now we're taking batting practice. About an hour to the first pitch.
win or lose, home or away, we're going to clean up because we're the Charlottesville Tom Sox. Another successful business trip in the books. Let's go back to Seaville. We're doing karaoke or freshman impressions? Karaoke! Really what we are doing is shoots. Shoots. No shoots. Win tonight, guys. Proud of you. Too many errors, though. Just saying. Just saying. Coach Hunt told you to say that. No, he didn't. Another great road trip here with the Tom Sox. We hope you enjoyed your all access tour with Tom Sox Weekly. I'm Crawford Humphreys. Have a good night. Thank you, Crawford. Before we let you go, let's take a look at what the Tom Sox have coming up in the next seven days. That's all the time we have for this week's edition of Tom Sox Weekly. Until next time, I'm your host, Doria Martingale, and go Tom Sox. <laughs>